steaks. We're out. Out of steaks. Do you want steaks? I don't have any. Good morning, Pearl. Good morning. Bye, Jude. I'm going to work. Today, I have a nice, sh today, I have a nice short tape measure pencil knife for you. We're just gonna do a little tongue and groove on a ceiling in a foyer of a house. A lot of prepositional phrases struggle along in a row. Just a little tongue and groove in a foyer, and that's it. This is the foyer. That's where we're gonna put tongue and groove. This is tongue and groove. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's not very bright in here. Uh, this, this is vaulted ceilings, tongue and groove. That up there is 16, 16 foot high. 16 foot tall, high, high. The, uh, the ceiling joists are running the opposite, well, the ceiling joists are running the, the direction in which we want the tongue and groove to run. The way the seal and joists are run, you can tell because of the sheetrock, the sheetrock screws and the mark, the marks. We have other people working here today. It's going to be a loud day. So you can't run these with that. So we're going to put some slats in there this way, perpendicular. We're going to run some boards perpendicular to the seal and joists and then the tongue and groove will go parallel on those perpendicular boards. These are words that I don't think I've said out loud since high school. You never know what's gonna come out of your mouth when you turn the camera on and start explaining something. This is a this is a pretty big house. We've already done a lot of tongue and groove. 16 foot tall, vaulted ceiling, 18 feet wide, 20 something long. Huge mungus vault beam thing. Humongous beams. And Kevin and I just lifted it up. There's a video. I got a little video clip of that. Just lifting these huge beams above our heads and nailing them to the to the wall, to the studs. It's been a fun house so far. I, li I like it when you get to do some custom things every now and then. So a little bit more tongue and groove today and that's it. Okay. Here we go. Tape measure, pencil, knife. Tongue and groove, V groove, ceiling. Parallel to the ceiling joist, perpendicular slats to make the parallels. Tongue and groove work with the ceiling joists that are running in the wrong direction. Yes. Nailed it.
때문에 
that was a successful TN and GN of a four year. TN and G in a four year. Little T and G. I told you it was going to be a short day. Just a little T and G. Not really a short day. Just a short tape measure pencil knife. Because there's still a ton of stuff in there we have to do today. We might even get some crown mold and finish off the four year. If you were wondering why there's gaps all the way around the four year, why I didn't make it tight, it's because we're getting a seven inch crown mold in there and we don't have any of it yet. Otherwise, it would have shown us hanging that in there as well. But I'll try to get you a picture of the finished product and insert it right here. If, if there's no picture of the crown mold and the foyer right there, I'm sorry. If there was, how cool is that? Looks great with that cove crown mold, doesn't it? I think so anyway. Hmm. Tongue and groove foyer ceiling project. TGFCP. I hope you enjoyed the TGFCP. I've put my hand to the lens no less than four times. Now, this is it. From all of us here at Tape Measure Pencil Knife, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.